Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today we're going to be talking all about this Valheim map world tool. I have had a personal experience recently over the past couple months that I wish to share with you. Because I used to judge this. I used to think, just like many of you listening perhaps, that if you look at a map of the Valheim world, that it's going to ruin the exploration for you. Okay? And now I'm going to give you my side of this argument, but keep in mind, this is just my personal experience. Obviously, other people will have different experiences, okay? But that being said, here's what I originally thought. I found out about this tool, and I was like, yeah, but I mean, if you can just look at the map, and then you can also use it to find almost anything in the game, you know, you could look at where the bosses are, you could look at where the trader spawns, and yeah, you could potentially ruin your experience if you just tell yourself where everything is. So here's what I found works, and it's to use no map mode. Like I can press M right now, but nothing's happening and you can't see a mini map, right? And you may say that's absurd, Jack. Why are you looking at a map, but then having no map in the game? And what I found is that this makes it so I'm much more immersed in Valheim. Because I don't know about you, but when I was playing normally, I had a habit of just pressing M a lot and looking at the map. And what I found is like, I may be playing Valheim for two hours, but I'm not looking at this beautiful 3D world and all this art. I'm spending a solid 40, 50 minutes staring at a two-dimensional map, which is boring. Right? So I'm ruining my own experience. And that was just a habit I had generated by playing Valheim and doing it normally and looking at the map and that kind of thing. And exploring, right? Because you know you get the map and you can explore and you f feel like you want to explore more so it's on your map and all that stuff. But now, let me tell you how I feel now that I've actually played this no map way and the other way. And first I'll start with a disclaimer. If you're new to Valheim, you should just play it regularly until the point where you get bored enough that you stop playing, okay? Then you're gonna go play other games, do something else, you'll essentially take a break from Valheim. And this is the point where when you come back next time, that's when I encourage you to use this Valheim map world tool to find a seed that you really like and then plan out your adventure. Because you can just, just have all of these awesome experiences. And I'm gonna show you two experiences that I've had that have resulted in some of the coolest bases and least death running that I've ever experienced in Valheim. So because I was looking at this Valheim world tool, you get kind of used to it and you find things that you think, oh, you know, maybe I should try making a base there. And I saw this a while ago. It's like a swamp with five or six crypts, not too many, but enough. And also a little island of meadows. Seems really cool. And then for the first time ever, after one of you guys commented about meadow islands bases, I was like, well, why don't I try that? So I did. And this is the base we've been playing in. And it's been really awesome because I, I don't know about you, but personally, I didn't really like the swamp that much. Don't get me wrong though, I've played a bunch in the swamp, but there's one main thing I just don't really like about it. And that's that it's getting dark all the time. And I don't know, like, couldn't it have a sunny day one out of every four days or something? I just don't like how it affects me to just be in the swamp and then it's really dark even in the daytime. And I found that I just don't really like it, even though I have spent a lot of time there, I've made bases in the swamp, I've done all that. And what this playthrough has allowed me to do is be in the swamp in the dark, but then be just a short run away from a safe place. And because it's black forest or meadow, as soon as I come over here, it lights up. And I found that that minor addition of just having the light when I went back to my base and when I was at the base made my experience in the swamp so much more enjoyable than it had been before. And also having this little setup where there's like a dock that you can walk on to get back to the swamp if you die, it made everything smooth. 
And I still died in the swamp. Me and my buddy died all the time in these crypts. I mean, I, we're on hard mode, so we're, we're getting ganked. But I had a blast, and I can honestly tell you that using the Valheim map world tool to locate this situation, and then finding the island in no map mode and building the base here was a really fantastic enriching experience for me. So in this personal use case, Valheim map world, using it absolutely helped my Valheim experience. It enriched my Valheim experience. And that was just the first time it did it. Now I'm gonna show you the second time because we finished up at the swamp here and then we needed to move to the next place because we're also playing with no portals. Oof, I know. You guys probably like portals, that's okay. I understand people like portals, but I have tons of free time. But that being said, on this no portal run, we basically have to use, I use these maps to plan where we're gonna go next. So when I was looking for this next migration, I found this area. And I thought, well, that looks great because there's a big mountain, probably has enough frost caves. There's also plenty of plains and a safe meadow to get a good base started to then use all this other content. So that resulted in bringing this boat here and then starting on this base. And then with some building and progression with my buddy after a couple playthroughs, we now have this base. And it's one of my favorite bases. And we just started going into the mountains and fighting goblins in the plains. And it's been so fun just having a base that's in a really good spot that you know is close enough to large biomes that have enough of everything that you need. And that's my takeaway, okay? Is the Valheim map world tool gonna ruin your experience? For me, it didn't. It actually did the opposite. Because now that I know how to play Valheim and I know what I want and I love to build bases, this tool, allows me to have more fun with the game. I love finding cool spots like this that the chance of you finding through regular exploration is just hundreds of hours, right? Like to explore all of the islands here would take hundreds of hours. I'm not even kidding. To get all those crannies and battle the wind, it's, 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 it's unthinkable how much time it would take but you can just look at it and then quickly see where stuff is. And if you don't want to spoil the locations, you can just do what I do and don't look at them unless something really goes wrong. I've gotten much better experiences this way. And that may be an unpopular opinion. I know some of you will be like, ah, looking at the map will ruin things. But as you've seen here, for me, it didn't. It actually allowed me to have my time in Valheim be spent doing things that are more fun instead of just sitting in a boat, wandering aimlessly, getting lost, finding nothing, you know, or finding a lot of the same stuff. And what I found is that now that I know how Valheim makes things, I am attracted to special areas that are unusual. But what I found is now, because I focus on areas that are special, I'm not looking at the boring parts of the map anymore. I'm looking at the interesting places, right? I mean, look at this place. It's even got the merchant and Hilder, both merchants here, at the point where you would be able to start interacting with them. Like, it's it's awesome. And I've had a blast playing on my with my buddy on this mode, even though I've been using the map world tool. So that's my two cents, personally. The map world tool is a fantastic device that enables you to get more hundreds of hours out of your Valheim experience. That being said, I don't recommend using it if you're just starting to play Valheim. Again, play Valheim until you get bored and stop playing. After that, when you play next time, use the map tool and plan things out and try and add more complexity, build cooler bases build stuff that you didn't do before. Try the game on harder settings with no map mode or something like that. No portals is also an option, although I understand that's really not popular with most of you. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching everybody. 
If you want to support my work, then consider purchasing your own dedicated Valheim server by using my tutorial all about it. This is a way that I can keep making these videos without having to stuff other random monetization and sponsors down your throat in the first 20 seconds of the video. So if you support me and get these servers, you really are showing me that I can actually focus on this and just keep making Valheim content that hopefully inspires people and allows them to have more fun with the game, because that's my goal. I want you to have more fun with this beautiful masterpiece called Valheim. That's it for now. Comment below if you have any suggestions on tutorials, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!